Welcome to this session for the Power Pack for Advanced Steel. And we're going to be talking about the folded plate extender tool found within the crate elements. So in Advanced Steel, and we're taking a look at the folded plate extender tool from Greatech. So this is built upon the technology of folded plates within Advanced Steel that allows you to take plates like separate plates and join them together with a fold relation. So here we've got a plate here and we're going to introduce this using the command. So I'm just going to give it a reference edge by snapping to a midpoint here. So you can see that it's introduced a fold in there. And obviously it's going downwards, so I can actually change the angle of that just by typing in the cell there. I can also affect the, the radius that's actually used in the, in the corner there, so I can reduce that if I so wish. Also, I can change the length of this. In other words, the height will actually reduce down as well. Similarly, you can alter the length, so if the fold was actually just partially along, you can adjust that as well. And you can also adjust your left and off offsets left and right rather than the total length. So you can actually make a reduction left and right if you want to within the folded plate tool itself. So the advantage there is you don't have to draw the second element to actually bring it in. So this, this can be quite useful in uh, the context of maybe working with a staircase. So we have a, a couple of standard staircase flights here using the Great X stairs tools, but we're using a kite winder to come around the corner here rather than traditional 90 degrees. So obviously we've created some plates for the treads themselves, actually like the actual sort of pan of the tread, so to speak. And we need to introduce some additional folds to make them the folded plate type. So we can select the plate, obviously select an edge, you can use nearest or midpoint to pick the edge that you wish the fold to go onto. So obviously this will remember your previous settings as well. So you notice there that's coming at 50. So I'm probably going to leave that, but I actually want that to be a downturn fold in there. So if I actually just click in there, it'll actually change that. If I close the command, I can actually come back to the next command again by just pressing the space bar and repeating the same operation again for this thread. So picking a midpoint there, we'll introduce the fold there. And obviously it'll remember the settings from the last time I used it. Slight rotation of the stair there. Midpoint, pick the plate again here. And I've obviously introduced that there. Now obviously I probably want to do a similar thing here, but slightly different actually on the rear. So again, we'll just go to the midpoint here. I'm going to change the angle first of all. I'm going to make it a positive angle in there. And I'm obviously going to put a different length in here to affect what's going on. So we can obviously see that that's put that in there. So we can press the space bar again and use the same command again, pick the plate, pick a reference point on the edge introduce the fold, done or close arrow will finish the command. Press the spacebar again to repeat the command. Select the plate, nearest. So now we've introduced those folds and created the folded treads, which are specialized to go round the corner of the staircase and joining the standard two flights that we actually created using our own stair macros as well. 